Well, how are, how are you? Are you good, Charlie? I know you are good. Uh, I know. I can feel it in my gut that you are good. Let me drink tea. I mean, today I'm drinking milk, but this is tea with a talkative. I am the talkative. My name is Tilly Kinipa, and let's start the show. Empress gives the air to two young people to a certain presenter in Ghana, but we'll talk about that. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, welcome back. As I said, this is still with the talkative. And let's start with a bit of a good news. Davido, who is actually a Nigerian artist, has, has announced something big. And this one is the fact that he and his wife, they are expecting, or they have a child now. They have, they, they, they have a, a bounce. Is, did you say a bouncy or a bouncing? Please put, <laughs> put it in their comments. A, a beautiful baby boy. And of course, this has broke social media. The video is a star. Choma too, the relationship has also become a star. And of course, at the time, or recently, there was this whole boohaha or noise about the fact that the video has gone to impregnate two women on the side. So my intent is that at a time where the whole social media thing was lashing the video, was it that Choma was pregnant? If she has given birth recently, it means that the entire ordeal, she was pregnant going through it. And I'm thinking, yo, that would be like some crazy ordeal to go through when you are in the final stage of your pregnancy but god being so good she has de- delivered a very beautiful baby and i know that Tali, yo these things there are some of the things that happens in relationship i'm not saying they are good but i know they will find their way back to each other because i'm thinking at this point she might be used to certain idiosyncrasies that comes with being like someone like the video but if not we wish her all the best and congratulations to both of them. This is good news after the tragic loss of their child. But whatever the case, we just hope that the good tidings that has come to them will continue and their life will keep blossoming and they will have happiness, happiness to wipe all their tears away. And I know this is one way God is blessing that family. Now, the next thing about artists and what they are doing is Sakodia. Sakodia has dropped a certain song called Freaky and naughty, and I mean, you're not you're not young. When I say freaky and naughty, you know what I mean. It's actually freaky and naughty. But I don't understand when he was posting the video or when was when he was posting the audio on YouTube. He has done a certain short video to it. I don't know if he is going to release an actual music video. But there was this snippet of a video that he has posted on his Twitter and his Instagram, but he hasn't posted on YouTube. And the YouTube one is just an image of him, and he has written clean. I don't know if because <laughs> the video the lady was doing you know some sexy things in Tina off onto YouTube, but I, I I really don't know. Maybe we are expecting an official video to freaky and naughty, or maybe or but they want to keep you know it's PG P, <laughs> PG thirteen on the city. But whatever the case, the song is crazy. People are loving it. You know, but they were Jamai antics be like <laughs> or but they were Jamai be when you move that. He expresses it on his music, and this time he really did. And the song, I think, one thing I liked about it is, up he pushed himself. The, the beginning of the song, you would think that he is using another another rapper is the one actually singing that part or actually rapping that part as a voice the more do, and then he switches back to his real or the voice that we all know and love. But Charlie. Like I can't, I can't, I can't even even lie about it. The drama level of the song, it's like it's it's like, it's 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 but people are loving it. Add it to your playlist now. Bulldog has said something to Efia and R Two Bs. Just in case you're not aware, Westgate had a show and then he filled an entire stadium and Ken Promise had the opportunity to be on that platform as well. Whilst we were applauding for Ken Promise for you know. Using that link or that rapport he has with Whisker to mount big platforms like that. Bulldog of Bull House Entertainment also sees that opportunity to throw some shade at R2Bs and if you say more in tamping and smoking kwan you do with R2Bs. You don't you don't leverage on your connect to be on shows, international shows like this, and that they missed on their Ghanaian on their national duties to perform to these kind of people. And my thing is that normally when I hear things like this from um people that have been in the game for so long, they know they so someone like Bulldog, you've worked with an artist, you know what goes into booking somebody for an 
for a performance or you know the performance thing that comes into artists the fact that somebody is your friend doesn't mean you can mount their stage Ghana Hana obi yesha obi to me far back to draw pass it through me i want to pass it through this kind of shows everything is well planned out and i know that even if aside the planning out there are certain intricacies that goes into getting another artist on your show and i'm i i i don't know if he was just saying it out of wimp or just to shade them but if for somebody with his experience uh, i simply say this is a flow or by i was say free the fans that they don't know much about what goes into an artist being built for a show and being uh, bringing some kind of artist on i really don't know i was thinking this would come from a fan but i see as a big person i said it i just feel like um there's much to it he knows better bulldog i, I am certain knows better because I don't think Bulldog would be happy if somebody like me or somebody, an industry person says, Tale, you Bulldog, what's not to say, Shatawale, Bernard Boy came to Ghana to come and be with Shatawale and then, now Bernard Boy has played and there was no way Shatawale was ever on one of Bernard Boy's big show. I don't think Bulldog would be happy because at the time, you know what goes into that kind of transaction. So why is it that now you are shading a fear and r 2 be on that? However, I think so, um, Efia has responded accordingly. I like how she addressed the issue. It was straight to the point. There are so many things that goes into it. The fact that I'm in the Shibum doesn't mean that I can go. I am ready to be on the stage or our timing needs to be on his stage. But when you look at what Bulldog says to sometimes Tali, go beyond the issue, you know? <laughs> like, yo, let's just move forward. I mean, we don't want to say, feel like, oh, be entitled to something. But we are hoping that it doesn't just end with the chilling it also translates into the business that's what i'm hoping he meant and then satawale and michi are, 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 are i know what it says i'm not laughing but i i want to thread cautiously with this conversation you know michi has a new song out called her song and satawale has started a challenge for michi saying that on your call with me to me from a to z gets 2k free from one of shatawale and of course michi is thrilled about it they are showing love with you and i'm like hey you people you people this one there yeah, you are all you know all love it every together the the one that is serious family thing then i'm with more to my young peer i was social media but hey i get it if i'm uh, if truly truly shatawale is not paying school fees and michi is using her own hustle to get the fees paid and all those things i'm thinking that it is good that satawale is trying to drive traffic to her music platform because you know hey the, the business remains in the family <laughs> i like the strategy kudos to shata and michi and then another thing that i've seen has been shata michi was on a bake with antenna show and she was asked that if she's getting married and her husband wants satawale to perform will she and she was asked that if she's getting married and her husband wants satawale to perform will she allow for that also yes now on the crowd the gig number shatawale already 10 percent that's <laughs> the money has to stay in the family that is that's it i think that's their code of conduct <laughs> the money has to stay in the family anything for the large charlie yo big ass to them like I, I i am down for that kind of life i am really down for that kind of life so these are some of the big stories that have been happening in that industry and I know you've been following. Drop your comment in the comment section below. Our stars are wearing something and I'm here to talk about it. It's been a while we did fashion. It, it hasn't it. Talina, she's not you're crazy. So everything has been... But now Amare is looking good in something white. By the way, Amare has been featured in Teen Vogue. And the pictures that so far uh, surfaced from these shoots, I think one of the words that I have for this particular look it's so sweet and i think the word i have for it is um this is another person's name but that her look gave me this she looks like a look an ira star look something ira star will pull off like this look is so when i saw i'm like ah this is something ira star will pull off and pull off very very well but i know um amare also pulled it off very nice i mean listen the look does not belong to Ira Star, but you know that some artists they've done a certain look so much when somebody does it too, it takes you top of mind, it takes you directly to that particular artist. Let me give you a typical example of artists who has embodied a certain look, Asha Care, Black Sheriff, those kind of look. It's not like anybody else can't do it, too, but once they do it, it takes your mind straight to that person. And now Mac Brown is also wearing something, and the look is so clean that blue outfit she's wearing 
when I see her, the only word that comes to my mind is big boss. Like, like as a big boss, like Charlie, I don't run my own thing. I don't run my business. Like, yo, Terminator. I do a call me later. That, <laughs> that kind of vibe. And I like her. She looks good. She looks splendid. And finally, Stone Boy is, uh, 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 is taking a certain picture that I have only been dreaming of taking. And when I see that picture, the only word that comes to my mind is this. Guy man. If I stop wearing all your guy man, guy, guy man, guy man. Once again, you try any city, no any towers now, but not even say Ghana. I'm going to be our hey, Ghana. Oh, put your crap, put your crap, your face. Don't try me to be that. Oh, picture that you didn't say who knew what picture you, but I like this picture. It shows the guy man side of Stone Boy. So, this is how. Uh, uh, some of the pictures I've seen online about our favorite stars, comment in the comment section below when you saw the pictures, what word came into your mind. And I hope you have subscribed to the channel. If you haven't, please do. And if there's anything you have to do, do it now. This has been Team with the Talkative.